here's the bag. This is actually going to be two different hauls. It is from um, the $5.95 miss sale for Memorial Day, which was yesterday. The sale was, no, the sale was two days ago. The sale was on Friday. Today is Sunday. And it's going to be a haul from the prior week. Um, that one was online. The Memorial Day miss sale was in store. So, hi and hello. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Whether you are new or returning, thank you so much for taking a few moments of your time to spend it with me. I'm Ashley. I haven't uploaded in a while, but I've been filming. I just haven't been making the videos public. I've been really busy. That's no excuse, but I'm not going to get into all of that. What matters is I'm going to 1000% upload this video because semi-annual sale is coming up and I am super excited about that so I want to get the summer collection video posted and I'm going to do a recap of spring because that's the stuff that's probably going to be 75% off first and foremost at the sale. So let's get right into this haul. I'm just going to pick things at random. I did not buy absolutely everything from the, the summer drop. There's only two cents that I don't have. One of them I have never purchased because I do not like it. That one is this right here. This should be a picture of, what is it called? Sea salt and lavender. I really don't like sea salt and lavender, but lavender from Bath and Body Works for me, I'm kind of like, eh, I'm real iffy about it. Sometimes it's, it's really done well, but most of the time I don't really like it. I do like salt. I don't have a problem with salt, so I don't think it was the saltiness of that fragrance that bothers me. I just don't know I just don't like it and it sucks because that one is always in such beautiful packaging I just don't like it and the second one is hibiscus paradise now to me that one is a very beachy floral and I like beachy florals I like tropical florals way more than I like fruity but for me that one um, I don't know if I mentioned this I I did buy that one last year I returned it because it smelled a lot like at the beach now I absolutely love at the beach that is my favorite coconut scent like period that is my favorite coconut scent from bath and body works period but if 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 given the choice between hibiscus paradise and at the beach i'm never going to reach for hibiscus paradise and if i run out of at the beach i replenish at the beach so uh hibiscus paradise is not a part of this haul but Let's talk about the other thing. I didn't purchase from this year, but this is from last year. This is Firecracker Pop. Now, I do like Firecracker Pop. Um, I think this scent is very fun. It's extremely fruity, of course. The notes to this are red cherry, fresh citrus, and juicy berry. This is so fun. This is so festive. This is so bright. This is very sweet. It is very true to its name. It smells like a red, white, and blue popsicle. It does kind of have like that, like, um, I know a couple of people were saying like, like a melted slushy. Yes, it definitely smells like that. And um, there is a little bit of a greenness to this scent. Now, I'm not sure if it has something to do with this fresh citrus note that's in here. But it is almost kind of leafy and it will throw you off at first because you're expecting this just this juicy, sugary, sweet um, popsicle scent. But there is like a little bit of leafiness to it. Now, I don't mind it. Obviously, I like it and I still have it in my collection. I have actually worn it. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get the mist just because this little travel size, I mean, it's all the way down there. But I've had it for a year and I still haven't used it up. So that's that one from last year. Let's see if I can find the other one that I did not buy this year, but I've actually had multiples of them. Here it is, Midsummer Dream. It's in the same packaging this year as it was last year. Again, this one's from last year. The notes to this are salted pear, fresh nectarine, and seaside lily. This is so pretty. This is relaxing. This is soothing. When this came out last year, I was getting a lot of migraines. And actually, the first time I wore this, um, it was so calming to me that it took the migraine away. I was so relaxed from this, like <sighs> aromatherapy who, cause this is good enough. Um, I don't usually buy aromatherapy. So this is like, this is great. Look at the light. Look how it looks. It looks like water. No, that looks like pool water. That's so pretty. 
Um, so to me, though, the pear in this is very ripe. It's a little bit mushy. Now, I am one of the people who I do think that Bath & Body Works puts more than the notes listed on the bottle. So these are just the key notes, the main notes that you should smell. So there could be melon in this, but if it's not, I just want you to know that that pear is so ripe. It's mushy. It almost smells like a melon, but it's really pretty. This is a very pretty scent. It's very perfumey, so... Be mindful of that if you are not into florals. You definitely get the floral in this. This is Summer Melody. And as you can see from how much I used, I gave these a full shot. I was going to film a first impression, but I just, I don't know. I figure first impressions don't really hold much weight. They're entertaining and they are fun. But at the end of the day, you don't get the full fragrance the full smell feel for a fragrance you know what i mean until you actually wear it so as you can see all of them are going to be like worn down so this one is golden honeydew and bronze vanilla i have to say i do not like melon like i really don't like melon but this smells really good to me this smells like a mango tropical peachy jolly rancher notice i didn't say melon i don't smell this as melon i really don't this when i first smelled it i thought this is so peachy but it's really nice it's very warm sweet and fruity very candied i'm telling you it smells like a jolly rancher very good um when it when this dries down it reminds me of hope winter peach marshmallow which i am totally not mad at because I loved that scent and I didn't buy any backups of that one because I was hoping that Peach Prosecco Macaroon would be comparable to Hope and it wasn't at all. We'll talk about that in the next video. I did not like the Champagne Brunch collection. Spoiler alert. So next up we have Love Always Wins Rainbow Waves and again, I, I mean when I tell you I tested these out, I tested them out. I was not going to get this because I don't like, I shouldn't say I don't like, I'm because I am starting to get really into it. But usually, I don't really care for citrus because last year I believe it was Sunwar Citrus and I don't like Sunwar Citrus at all. Um, and again, I don't like melon and I don't like to smell very um, boozy. So... I was not going to pick this up, so I decided to pick this up because there was an online review on bathandbodyworks.com that said that this smelled like Play-Doh and stale cotton candy. When I hear Play-Doh, my mind immediately goes vanilla. <laughs> Thumbs up this video if you agree. Play-Doh equals vanilla in my mind and stale cotton candy, I was like, hmm, maybe that just means it smells like an adult adult like mature cotton candy you know and I always want to smell like adult cotton candy adult bubblegum an earthy spicy birthday cake sign me up okay so the notes of this are sunny sangria bright melon and misty waters now while I will say I smell no play-doh so I don't know where that came from <laughs> but I don't think it smells like cotton candy but I can totally understand why they would say stale cotton candy because this, this is very like sour but sweet at the same time. It's extremely fruity as to be expected from sangria, right? Very fruity. I do not pick this up as melon either. This is totally not like a bothersome, nauseating melon at all. And, and I don't think any of these are to be honest with you. And I don't know if maybe my scent preferences my scent preferences have changed and i just kind of like melon now or something but but these don't smell like melon normally smells on me and they don't sour and end up smelling like rotten fruit on my skin either but i kind of like this at first i was kind of like oh no this is a headache inducing floral hi because of the misty waters but i think that the misty waters note gives it this like this like floral freshness that really to me stops that like overly fruitiness that this has from being too much and kind of aggravatingly uh, cloying to me. I think it smells really good. This almost reminds me of like being on a rooftop 
being on a rooftop lounge. Hi, sweetie. Excuse me. Being on a rooftop lounge um, overlooking the lake. I live by a lake. So I don't live by the ocean. I live by a lake. So I get rooftop staring over at the lake and you get that like breeze. This would be um, very good for like fresh out of the shower. I think it's nice. I like it. But if you can get over that, that like sangria note, then I think you'll enjoy this too. Okay, so next we have Midnight Swim. Now this one is infamous in my collection. Motorcycles. This one is very infamous in my collection because I had this last year and I returned it because it made me so incredibly nauseous. I tested it out three times and all three times I got like violently nauseous. So to me, this smells exactly the same as last year, except I find it to be a little bit lighter in scent um and it does not make me nauseous so that's a plus the notes of this are blue waters beach flower and fresh coastal air yeah it still has that same like that same like odd sweetness i don't know this fragrance bothers me so much because i cannot for the life of me pinpoint a single note it's kind of like a mishmash of a bunch of different like accords now to me, there is something fruity in here and all of the fragrances that this kind of reminds me of like open sky has blackberry, a uh, sparkling twinkling midnight sky has blackberry in it. So I want to say that this may be a blackberry. Blackberry kind of bothers me. This does smell a little bit sour and musty in the cap, but on the skin, it doesn't smell like that at all. This to me reminds me of like a bedtime floral very bedtime nice to work out in i don't find it very clean smelling even though it does smell fresh i don't find it to be very clean now as far as this one smelling unisex goes um i mean fragrance is such um it's so specific to each individual's own opinion um i feel like this is very calming very soothing, relaxing. It is funny to me because fragrances that I feel like smell kind of reserved um, or have like this kind of freshness to them, I already know people are gonna say it smells like a man or unisex. So I don't know what it is about female fragrances that are kind of aloof. Women say they're unisex, but anytime you ask a man, like a grown man, if this smells unisex, they're like, no, it smells feminine. I think it smells feminine. I think they're all feminine leaning, but I think anybody can wear whatever they want. I don't think a guy is going to smell that on you and think you smell like a guy is what I'm getting at here. So next up, we have Watermelon Blast. You guys, this... When I saw that this had a strawberry blossom note in it, I knew I was going to like it because Buttercups and Berry Bellini, again, that's for another video. Bomb. That's all I'm going to say. This is Juicy Pink Watermelon, Sugar Strawberry Blossoms, and Lime Zest. I have never owned a watermelon fragrance. I have no watermelon fragrances in my collection. Um, the Dolce & Gabbana one, what's it called? Lim Paratrice. I think that's what it's called. That one smells good to me, but it smells like an armpit when I wear it. So this is the first of its kind in my collection, okay? It smells really good. This is bright. This is fun. This is like carefree. This is very fruity. This is like hubba bubba bubblicious bubble yum. Watermelon Jolly Ranchers. This is so good. This is so fun. I love this scent. It is long lasting. Look, you saw how low the other ones were. You saw how low? Look, look how low. That's how strong this one is to me. This one is long lasting. Okay, it's the strongest, it's the longest lasting. There goes the cap. And it is so good. I wore this with, what I wear this with? Buttercups and Berry Bellini body cream with Thank You Next 2.0. I could smell me all day and I thought I smelled incredible. So good, such a happy fragrance. Okay, next up we have Berry Waffle Cone. Um, obviously, this is an online exclusive, so I got this last week with my online order. This is a backup to one that I already have. This smells so delicious to me. At first, I thought it was weird when it came out last year. I never thought that it stunk. 
I just thought it was weird and I wasn't sure if I wanted to smell like breakfast cereal. Um, you know those fragrances that you like? So for example, I've always liked watermelon like candles. If someone else smells like watermelon, they smell good to me. But like you don't want to smell like that thing. That's what I was thinking about berry waffle cone. But then I exchanged Midnight Swim, got berry waffle cone, and I fell in love with it. Now I get all of the notes. I get the sweet summer berries, the golden waffle cone, and I get the creamy vanilla as well. This is so good. This next fragrance, I am so disappointed because this is my favorite fragrance out of the entire summer drop. But it does not last. I went in the store because I just knew. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care if it's light. I don't care. I'm going to get the whole set. I'm going to get the, the body cream. I'm going to get it back up to the mist. And I tried the lotion on at the store and I couldn't smell anything. I couldn't smell anything while I was at the store. I couldn't smell anything after I left the store. So I'm kind of sad because I really love this scent so much. This is Golden Ocean Pearl. And I have to say, y'all, Pearl is my birthstone. I'm a June baby. Gotta represent. This smells incredible. This, if you think Midnight Swim is unisex, I can imagine you think this leans a little toward unisex. Feminine leaning always, right? But this reminds me of Jazz Club by Mason Margiela. This smells so good. It's like that amber to me is the strongest note. I get very, very little bergamot. And this is very powdery. This just feels chill. This gives chill vibes. This smells like... Like, do you know how sweet whiskey, if you can remember, it's kind of like the amber in there is kind of like spicy. It has that amber in it. It's that kind of spicy amber, um, like snowflakes and cashmere, powdery. It just, it reminds me of Mason Margiela Jazz Club, except it doesn't have like that menthol-y Vicks Vapor Rub uh, cigar-esque smell. This is sweeter. This is fresher than that. So I hope I didn't scare you off by saying it, it smelled like Jazz Club. But it just reminds me of that. It has like the same vibe to it. The notes of this are Bergamot Breeze, Vanilla Orchid, and Golden Amber. I love this. This is my favorite one. I am so sad that it is so light. Okay, so next up I got two of these. I got Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. Um, I hate that it's red. I thought the other packaging was much better. But this... It's so rich, it's so creamy, it's so sweet. It's such a weird smell, but I'm very much into it. It grew on me. I got the body creams last year during the summer SAS. I just thought it smelled like sweet butter. It's got that um, uh, warm vanilla sugar DNA. It smells a lot like Christmas cookies or Joy Sugar Snickerdoodle Merry Cookie, which is now called Happy Birthday. Um, coconut Cream Pie has a similar base to it, but they all have like a uh, difference in the notes they all have something different added that makes them stand alone so but just so you know this one is the weirdest one out of the bunch but if you're someone who gets very bored easily you have a big collection i would say try this out do not blind by it because it's very rich and buttery but i like it and the reason why i got two is because the day of the sale i literally used up my last little bit of coconut cream pie. I did not reorder it online when I ordered because I thought, I knew I was going to pick up vanilla confetti sparkle from the store. And they're very similar. I don't need both. One of them is going to get ignored and overlooked. So I just went with the confetti cake pop. Got happy birthday because I had a free mini. It is Merry Cookie. Smells good. Even when it rings up on the receipt, it says celebration Merry Cookie. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I do have three more fragrances that have nothing to do with the summer drop. I have one more from the summer drop and three more that I just bought because sale, right? So I got Beach Nights. Um, and I did go in store and pick up body cream. My store did not have any more mist to beach nights they did not have any mist um i didn't have any shower gel so i don't know if they just sold out like they sold that many 
or let me know like did did your guys like did your stores have a big selection of beach nights because mine had no mist no shower gels literally if the lotions were on sale i don't even think i would have been able to pick these up because there was only like literally like 15 15 i grabbed two so the notes to beach nights are toasted marshmallow sea salt breeze s'mores accord beach driftwood and creamy vanilla i like it I don't want to say it's not worth the hype. It's not worth. I hate when people say that. Someone was genuinely excited and they share that excitement with you. And then we get upset and we call it hype. So I don't want to say that because I like the scent. Obviously, I bought the body creams. But what I will say is this to me is not different. It's not new. It's not exciting. Um, I'm aware that this one came out first, oh, yeah. but I feel like I have other things and I have smelled other things that smell similar to this. Slay Rise and Snuggles is definitely the same DNA as this. Pear Creme Brulee is definitely the same DNA as this because Pear Creme Brulee is literally Slay Rise and Snuggles with an extra added pear note. Um, I have other notes that have a prominent graham cracker note, coconut cream pie, sugar cherry crisp, but I do like this scent. Don't get me wrong. I like the scent. I smell a lot of marshmallow in here. I do not get a lot of sea salt. It is very airy. And I get, I feel like I get a lot of the s'mores accord because I smell chocolate and I smell graham cracker. Again, Beach Nights gives me the same, not Beach Nights. Bonfire Bash reminds me of marshmallows and it's also very woody. And then the one from um walmart has that chocolatey that chocolatey kind of sandalwood in it as well so it's kind of like this is good but like i don't know like okay if you're sensitive to like plastics and synthetics i feel like this is very plasticky this is very musky i thankfully do not get the um this has no smell vibe going on it definitely has a smell i definitely think it is long lasting um but yeah it is kind of plasticky and weird but i like it okay so now the last three fragrances one of them I, i've smelled this one so many times in store this is white t-shirt so this is crisp pear fresh white t-shirt lavender cloud clean mud soft sandalwood it is very light it has like virtually no scent to it at the store so I just finally decided to bring it home because I've smelled this so many times in the store. I don't know how I feel about it. I like it, but I don't like it. I definitely, out of all the fragrances um, at Bath & Body Works, they have a huge like cult following. I think this is the worst one. I don't think it stinks, but I just don't think, I don't think I like it all that much. It smells like Sea Island Shore, but like a more... I don't know what's called this. A more, a more floral, less aromatic version of Sea Island Shore, and it gives a uh, beachfront blanket vibes. It smells like beachfront blanket and Sea Island Shore had a baby. I like it, but it smells like men's deodorant a little bit. Yeah, this doesn't do much of anything for me. And then the last two I got are retired fragrances. I got Night Blooming Jasmine. Um, this is another scent that reminds me of like bedtime. It's definitely a bedtime scent. Very, not fresh, but fresh, like powder fresh. It smells like baby powder. It has a slight sweetness to it. It's slightly fruity. The notes are jasmine flower, white musk, and apple blossom. I really like this. I bought the body cream last in my annual sale. They didn't come out with a mist for it in the store. So I finally, um, <laughs> so I finally went ahead and ordered it. Now, what I've been wearing with the body cream is champagne, apple, and honey. And honestly, I can't see me reaching for this over champagne, apple, and honey. So I have to find something else to wear this with. But I do like it. It reminds me of like a, a sweeter, more comfortable version of Moonlight Path. Okay, and the last fragrance is Beautiful Day. This is a retired fragrance. So I bought this two years. I smelled this two years ago when I was in the store. I did not like it, but to be fair, I did not like anything fresh. I didn't like anything super, super floral. I didn't like anything clean. I didn't like anything that smelled any, even remotely like laundry. Um, and I certainly did not like apple. 
this smells so good i just keep thinking it smells like the late 90s it smells like the early 2000s i keep thinking maybe it smells like uh be delicious so let me know if you have be delicious comment down below if you think they smell like or does this smell like dylan blue like what does this smell like this smells like something to me i can't quite figure it out because i don't like apple so i don't have fragrances with apple other than the body mist that i just bought within the last year from Bath Body Works, but the notes of this are Sunkissed Apples, Sparkling Cassis, Wild Daisies, Pink Peony, and Fresh Woods. This is such a bright, uplifting, mood-boosting, very optimistic scent. This smells so good. This is so, like, crisp. The apple is kind of sour, but it still has sweetness to it. This smells so good. It's almost like shampoo-y. This is so good. I read a review that said, if you like Beautiful Day, you'll like this. And I definitely agree. I I have Beautiful Day. It's almost empty, as a matter of fact. And I think I like this one better. This is so good. This is so bubbly and effervescent. This smells incredible. I'm so sad I didn't like this one that was in the store because this is such a good scent. You have to resmell things. You have got to resmell things because sometimes, sometimes you can hate something and you go back to it because you're in a different mood and it smells totally different. So that's going to do it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.